It's safe to say that breakups can be pretty toxic, but you don't know just how bad they can get until you see this suspect, who refused to leave her ex-boyfriend's doorstep until he spoke to her. Okay, well, I need you to come over here and wait for the door. Are you, are you going to leave right now? Please leave. And do not come back. Or this girl who hightailed it from the police after beating up her boyfriend in broad daylight. Stop right now! And especially this girl who savagely attacked her boyfriend with a pair of scissors while he slept. But it was like, then I was like, is he attacking the thing that I saw? I don't know, I was all confused, like I was... Meet 22-year-old Morgan Lund, who on February 18th of 2023 called the police to her apartment to help her child's father who was suffering from 19 stab wounds to the torso and back. When police arrived, they were greeted by Morgan standing over her ex-boyfriend <laughs> sobbing. Moreover, her hands, legs, feet, and jacket were all drenched in blood. While paramedics rendered emergency aid to the victim, an officer tried to figure out what was going on from Morgan. But her explanation was far from what he expected. All right, is it just the three of you? The ambulance is downstairs. Uh -huh. oh is this God. your stuff? Yeah. Do you have an ID in here? Um, no, it's in the car. Morgan. What is your name? Morgan Lund. Oh, yes. Morgan, can you tell me a little bit more about... No! No? <laughs> and why is that? You feel no! Why, why are you saying no? I don't understand what you're reacting to right now. Are you just scared about the situation? Or do you not want to talk to me? I understand that, but you're you're an adult, I so I need you to make your own decision about whether or not you're going to talk to me. What? What do I need to tell you? I was, I was sleeping, and then it, I don't know. I was like half awake. I bring her out here every morning. Fever. Uh huh. And I mean, I've seen the same thing before. I've You've never seen done anything thing? like that. You have seen the same thing before. Okay. Have you ever had any kind of medical treatment no. for anything like that? Uh -huh. Have you seen a doctor, a psychologist, counselor, no, I didn't, anything I didn't like that? I didn't embarrass to talk to anybody. Okay. I, was I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't get much sleep last night. I don't know why. Okay. And I felt any like that was sleep. <laughs> and, you, and you what? I finally fell asleep and I was seeing all these weird things. Oh, no, no, it's blood all over me. <laughs> but you don't remember coming back out but you do remember seeing something. Yeah, it was like it was like in my head, though. I don't. It wasn't real. Drive for me what you saw. It was like I don't know. It was like something black. I don't know what. But it was like then I was like, is he attacking the thing that I saw? I don't know. I was all confused. Like I was. I thought I saw something that wasn't happening. Do you usually see the same thing? Yes, and I feel like somebody else. It feels like it's not even me. If you had to physically describe what you were seeing, like big or small, black or white, gray, blue, whatever. Like a, like a, like a blob. Like a blob. Like a black blob. Like a blob, but like a finger. Okay. I don't know. I have something. I have something wrong. Do you see a dark figure? But it doesn't look like a person. Yeah. Am, am I understanding that right? It's just sort of the the shape. And I could hear. I could hear. I could hear him. Yeah. And I came out and I saw something like over him. <laughs> so I don't know like what was like real and what's not real. What okay. was, I don't know if I was dreaming. 
what the other experiences that you've had have been when you were awake? Yeah, we're like half awake. Okay. <laughs> right before you went to bed or right after you woke up? Both. Both. But it's no, usually... I would never do that. I would never right. do that to him. <laughs> but it's usually that same sort of dark figure? Like, it's like, it's, there's some, it's something in my head. It, it's not like... But when you see it, your heart beats really fast and you, you feel afraid. Okay. And I just feel like, like something's taking over me, like, I don't know, and now it's like, everything's normal. And that happens every time. Morgan has already made two key mistakes in her statement. First, we'll address the fact that her story's all over the place. I do remember seeing something... <laughs> Like in my head though, I don't, I don't, wasn't, I thought I saw something that wasn't happening. So I don't know like what was like real and what's not real. What okay. was, I don't know if I was dreaming. But the other experiences that you've had have been when you were awake? Yeah, or like half awake. Okay. Secondly, she stated that she attacked the victim after mistaking him for the black figure, but then claimed that she heard yelling and came out to see the figure hovering over the victim. But it was like, then I was like, is he attacking the thing that I saw? I don't know, I was all confused, like I was here, I could hear him. And then I came out and I saw something like over him. This would have made it impossible for her to have confused the two, but Morgan clearly thought that she sounded believable as she took it one step further and began claiming she caught her mental illness from her job. What is going on? The Mental Health Institute. And I feel like ever since I started working there, like, because I talk to the patients a lot and I feel like it's just like, it's like getting in my head. And I've, ta I've talked to people at work about it without like saying anything. Like I've been like, as a, like, do people ever get affected by this? And like, have you ever seen anybody that works here be affected by it? And they, like all of them have said that, yeah, like they've seen people be affected by it or like, I don't know. And I just feel like something, something just changed in me. Oh, no, no. And it starts getting loud, loud. What the hell? Was he screaming back at her? <sighs> it was kind of like a... I don't even know, like, get off me, help. I, I just got my... And that was him saying that? I don't even remember. Okay. And open the door. They're on top of each other. See what do you mean? On, so they both were on top of each other? He was, like, on top of her trying to take his knife out of her hand or something. I don't know. Okay. So, he, okay, how was she positioned? Was he bleeding already at that time? Yeah. Where was he bleeding? Where'd you see? His arm and stuff, and then I had seen the couch. Help. Go over there. I don't even know. She's, that was like when I was ending. Okay. Was she saying anything at this time? She's just freaking out. I don't know. She's saying she doesn't know what happened. She, that she was seeing stuff, having a dream or something, and then realized it was real. Okay. Does she suffer from mental health? I think since she's had a kid, because they... It's, she, she's kind of saying like she was it's something like as I'm calling you guys that she was like dreaming or something and then like uh, seeing something in her head I don't really know and you said that she might have some mental health issues since she's had a kid to explain to that have you seen a change in behavior um, I think just a bit of maybe postpartum depression maybe or just but, you, but you've seen a change in a very, change in personality um, maybe not a change in personality, but oh, sit there. she, uh, you're not getting me in those, are you? Good. No. Okay. They got a lot of relationship problems. Okay. So, okay. So this is, this fighting minus the actual injuries is not uncommon. No. So they argue a lot. Yes. Are they physical a lot? No, just verbal arguments a lot. From Ethan, the officer learned the true nature of Morgan and her ex's volatile relationship. While Ethan had claimed to have never witnessed any kind of physical violence, the victim later advised police that this wasn't the first time Morgan had been physical with him. But just based on the information they had so far, they had enough cause to place Morgan under arrest. Did you know yeah. what's gonna happen? We don't, we don't actually. Genuinely like, not. What's most likely in this 
we don't ever know. Yeah, be honest. Like we'd be lying to you before. to give you. I honestly, my dad worked for a prison for so long, and I worked at the mental health institute. I, I've seen like things like this, and I, I just want to know like what's most likely gonna happen to me. I've been doing this for 12 years, and I've never been in this situation. Your mom and dad are outside. They're gonna, they're gonna, so take they're gonna see me. Is it? Possible miles to cuff her at the vehicle. Sure, where her. is it? Yeah, they're, they're, not gonna do anything. Okay. they're just, I just don't want them to see her being cuffed. Are you okay? Yeah, I don't want them. And you're not yourself. You're not, you're not yourself. You didn't do this on purpose. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I did it on purpose. Was he sleeping? I don't know. I was like, I was like half asleep. You, were you having a dream? <laughs> yeah, I was like. Like I was having a dream and then I was like half awake. Oh, to the living room. Yeah. And then I, I woke up again and I was like half asleep. And I was like seeing things, but I was like, I don't know. There's like something in my head that like makes me not who I am. Morgan was jailed and initially pleaded not guilty by reason of insanity, but eventually changed her plea to no contest on charges of aggravated battery and second degree recklessly endangering safety. She was sentenced to seven years and six months in prison, followed by five years of probation upon release. While Morgan may have been dishonest, at least she didn't get hostile with the officers. On the other hand, the next suspect not only flipped out on her ex, but also on the officers as well, after they entered her home without her permission. Ma'am, please do not come- Do not come into my house and tell me what I can and can't do! On June the 17th of 2022, an officer arrived at an apartment after receiving a report of a domestic altercation. The responding officer knocked on the door multiple times before it opened, and he was met with a lunatic. I mean, a lovely female and a rather quiet okay. male. That's for police permit! Leave my house. No, I thank don't. you. She has my butt. Leave. Yeah. You want it to be gone. So, Leave. So we're not gonna close the door. I'm not. Yes, I am. This is my home. I didn't open it for you. He did. I am not opening this door to you. Who lives here? I do. So, I said no. Nobody's opening the door to the cops here. I do not. Like no. You now. Leave. And I'm done. My butt. No. And what's the relationship? We're exes. Just lost his child. Yeah. Friends. Friends, don't. Please get out of my house. I did not invite you in. I have, you do don't not do have, that. I'm here for you, a domestic okay, disturbance. That, no, but you do not have a right to enter okay. my home unless I've invited you. Okay. You no, do not have a warrant. Is, is I did not open my door to you. He opened it to leave. I, I understand. Then bring your supervisor, but I want him that gone. You don't want to talk to me? That's great. I'm not talking and to anybody. That's fine. I'm done okay. for the night. He can leave. Okay. As he wanted. Goodbye. So there's another option on the way. No. You can tell me that you're not giving me STDs because without a rubber like you promised. Well, that was way too much detail. It was pretty clear what was going on here and that incidents like this were common between them. At that point, the best thing the officer could do was separate them if he could get the female suspect under control long enough to reason with her. I don't know. Give me the 120 plus dollars that you owe me and then I'll give you your bike back. Please leave. Did any of you guys call the police? I did. Oh, you did. Out of my home! Yeah. No, I will get the supervisor now. Okay. I did not invite you in. Don't come Officer, near me. Then don't come don't in my come home. Near me. Now. Okay. okay, I'll call 911 again. Do we okay. need to do this? Go, go ahead. Great. Get out of my house, please. Go ahead. Get out of my house. I have by don't, every right in law. You do not have a do not No, you do not have a right to come in my home. Touch me, understand? I'm not touching you. But you don't have a right to be in my home without a warrant. Get out, please. You are not invited in by the homeowner. There's Goodbye. That's great. Please step outside my door. You are now trespassing without a warrant. Exit my doorstep. No, get out of my house! How are you gonna threaten me in my house? He is not, I did not invite him in. He is not just gonna walk in my house. This is, this he, no, he doesn't have a warrant. He needs to get, he's threatening me and I'm, no. It's a domestic issue. I, does, I did not open that door to him. Okay. He did. No, get out of my house now. You can stand right there and the door will stay open. I don't give a Downstairs. Out of my house now. I want your badge number. Card. No, I want the card, please. I didn't invite you to my home and you are breaking the law. You have no right to enter a dwelling at all. 
Ah, uh, we love when morons pretend to know the law. According to New Mexico Public Safety Policy OPR42, there are actually several exceptions where an officer may enter a residence without a search warrant. One of those is the presence of both probable cause and exigent circumstances. Exigent meaning circumstances that would cause a reasonable person to believe that entry was necessary to prevent physical harm to the officers or public, the destruction of relevant evidence, or the escape of a suspect. Domestic disputes automatically fall under that umbrella, especially if the victim is still inside the home and the alleged aggressor just walked out of sight to do or get who knows what. Wanna keep going? Ma'am, please do not come- Do you not come into my house and tell me what I can and can't do? You are not invited in. Please leave my doorway. You can stand on the outside. Uh, she, she's like assaulted me before. Um, obviously, I can't touch her. I can, you know, I don't want to uh, be physical with her. You're not in my house. And, um, Is she your girlfriend? She is like an ex. I just hang out with his friends, and um, she knew I had to go to work this morning at like 5 30. I do house painting, and um, when I started to leave, she just like started going off on me and just would block the door and just no, no, you can't do this. Blah, 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 blah. And she took my bike, I came around, but I need my bike. Um, and uh, did it get physical at any point? In time? No, okay. What What is it that you need? Do you just, are you I just, just trying to leave? I was just trying to leave, but she was threatening me. So you um, just want your bicycle? Yes. Please leave my doorway. You do not have a warrant. You are not invited in. You are this close to being arrested for resistance. You're inside but... my house. Sir, I... Please stop. I'm not resisting. You stop. You're you are resisting. resisting. No, right now I am because you're hurting me. Sir. Stop. I will let you handcuff me. Stop. Put your hand back. I've done this Put before. Your hand I will. Put your hands behind your back. I said I will. You do not need to use excessive force. You are under arrest for resisting and obstructing. I did not do anything. Okay. Hey, can I, can, I, can I not deal with him anymore? Please let him. No, he has been nothing. Please stop. Don't You're hurting me. I will get out of a broken toe. Stop. We're walking, we're walking to my. No, up. my son is inside this apartment. Please get me out of these cuffs. I will. Stop I will cooperate. Please get me out of these cuffs now. Not please get these off of me. I am protecting my child and myself. I, will get my I have book. babies. Please stop. You are very. Can you please take these off? Put them in the front. Please. I'm not gonna run. I have a baby. Please take these All off right, of me. We need to go outside. I can't. My son is inside. Let me sit down, please. No, that's fine. I need to sit down. I have a baby. Right, sit, sit down. Thank sit down. you. Sit down. You guys don't understand. I'm not trying to resist anything. You guys are threatening me. He came in my home and threatened me. You live here? Our kid's gonna be okay. You live here? You live here? I, I live downstairs. Okay, downstairs. We'll, we'll talk to you in a minute. Can you hang out downstairs for me? I can calm down if you take these off of me, please. Okay, they're not coming down. Please, sir, I have been sexually okay. abused by a cop my entire life. Okay. Can you well, please I, get that, these off of that me? That is not going to if, happen this right is a trick, okay. then That's why okay. I'm saying I can calm down to me. Just even on hook one. Do sir, can we offer something? Yes. Uh, I'm uh, her downstairs neighbor. I'm wanting to know her. I know uh, her kids. Sir, yeah, I'm going to check on him right now. Sir, he's okay. not somebody that can okay. be talked to like a human being. So, no, if no, please let me finish. Please let me finish. Please let me finish. It's different with your guys' attitudes and his, okay? He does not have permission to go in my house, okay. sir, okay. please. Okay, we're, we're, we're done with I'm this. just standing just, just, just sit down I'm, no, I'm just, I'm breathing. You told me to calm down. Sir, just please let me. Stay, I'm stay melting. Seated, okay? Can I please stay go? Stay seated. Can I please breathe? I'm trying to breathe. He's walking through my How many children does she have? Three and two. She has three kids. I only see one. I'm, I promise, no, I can't. I can't breathe. Just put yeah. it back on this one. Two please. girls yeah. no, sir. and one boy. I'm staying here. Get up. Can I please not have a button in my... Oh, it just makes me wicked in the front. You said if I call... She has three children? Yeah. Yes. Do you not hear me speak to you, sir? I said I have three. I have three children. I I'm not one. resisting Wait, anything. I, I just said... one in the bedroom. Sir, I just said the other two are with somebody for the night. Okay, good. Good. They're coming here at 6 in the morning. Can okay, I, good. Can I please just take a fat ticket? The suspect continued to cry and try to convince the officers not to place her in handcuffs, but instead they proceeded to restrain her so that they could return the bike to the boyfriend and have a more civil conversation. 
I'm not gonna sleep. I'll leave it. Oh, Just no, don't do anything, Tiger. Please, I will not sleep. And I promise. I promise. Okay. Please don't. Please don't. Hey, hey. Please, you guys name? are not dealing with my. Do not hurt you're thing. I have already been moving. You are literally right here right now. Bye. Can I just sit okay. right here? Okay. Oh, oh, that you're no, seriously, you're cutting off circulation. You're cutting off circulation. Stop yelling. You don't even have the cuff on. Stop. It's right here. It's cutting in. I okay. No, that's perfect. If you Thank calm you. down for me, these if are gonna come off. Yelling. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. Can you understand? You're the one PTSD yelling at us. Okay. I'm having a PTSD trigger right I now. Need you to stop. I am not trying to be out of control. Okay. I am really breathe. just having serious PTSD issues. Breathe. Did you, you need any medical me. attention, ma'am? Just breathe. I can't deal with all the questions. Can I? Need medical attention. You guys keep it up, Daniel. Oh, please stop. If you want medical attention, we can do it. Then do you guys have to stop jumping down my throat? Okay. I've done nothing wrong. I put no hands on anybody. Okay. So when it's a domestic-related issue. You do not okay. have a right to search my things. Okay. He, he needs to stop. Well, we. No, I but I, I understand. Okay. Hold on, real quick. But I. I can I talk to you? you? Yes. Yes, but I have a question about what you're explaining. So, with Can it, I finish explaining to you? Oh, I'm gonna answer your question. Yeah, I'll probably forget the question. You just listen to me, okay? He, can he stop searching my things? Mm -hmm. okay. I have every right for him to stop. He needs and, to stop. Any domestic related issue, okay? We are 100%. We can come into your house, investigate what we need to do. I did not open the door to him. It doesn't matter. It does. You it need a warrant to enter my home. No, not when it's a domestic related okay. issue. But he does not have a right to search my things okay. or my home. Okay, without my permission. because you have kids here? We have to check their well-being. That's great. He's okay. alive. He's And that's sleeping. the reason why we went in the great. room to go check so on them. So he's also okay. opening my things. Okay. He does not have a right to do if that. If you are cooperative with us. I am cooperating. I'm just saying, okay. why does he need to I... go through my things then? That, that has nothing to do with the domestic disturbance. Okay. That has nothing to do with my child. Can you please stop going through? I'm sorry? Were you up here earlier? No. Huh? Okay. Is there anything else that we can help you with? Oh, I... I... I want to make sure her kids are going to be all right. Yeah, as a matter of fact. You know, when they're going to co come back from wherever they are and stuff uh -huh. like that, uh, I need to know if the, the, she's going to be here for them and stuff, or anybody's going to be here for yeah, them. Yeah, she's going to be here for them. She's she's not going to jail. All she's going to get is a ticket, okay? Okay. It's not just her boy. She's but got two girls children. here. She's going to be here when her other two children get in. Please stop asking my neighbor questions. I will give you what information. Can you Valerie, stop? Can I will you give listen you... to me? But that's it, he's in my doorway, echoing, talking. Okay. okay just so don't, it's a little just distracting. Don't can you guys go downstairs listen, and talk? Listen, like... listen to me, okay? What's your social? Calm down. But I am. I really am. But I'm okay. he's hurt. You're not calm down, I, you, Valerie. Believe me, this okay. this is as calm as I'm going to get with you guys. Until we're like right now. until we're like completely good. Don't I'm come off. I'm sweating. I just can I smoke a cigarette and just be here? I'm not going if anywhere. I, if you come down Please for me, hurt. I, you're, I, you're this gonna is smoke calm. that cigarette. This is calm down. I okay. promise you, this is. Okay. But I really need these off, Let so I can get. Can I gather all your information, sir? Can okay. I please have these off, and you can have everything okay. you want. I promise. I'd... What's your social? Hey, have you ever had? Pe where's, I... where's Gilbert Spike? I will answer. I think it's that electric, that blue electric scooter. <sighs> Ask him if it's a blue electric scooter. It is. Is it a blue electric scooter? Yes, sir. Yes. It's a black uh, Jetson scooter. Black Jetson scooter? Black, yeah. The way I am just not okay. I get that. The way he behaved with me was, is not okay. Were you try social? Finally, after being given a cigarette, the suspect calmed down long enough to give her side of the story. But when the officers refused to take her cuffs off, she began to have a tantrum all over again. Give me a rundown of what the story is, why we're here. The man's 42 years old and got me pregnant. Okay. And moved him out of his trailer. He was cheating on me, still helped him, he lived with me. How long have you, have you guys been back? We were, yeah, pretty much for over a year. A year, okay. And, um... He owes me money, and I literally asked him, if you're gonna be the people, can you please wear condoms? Mm -hmm. He refused to answer. I said, that's kind of mm -hmm. That is my body too. Sure. I have every right to know. Yeah. He's like, I, I'm not dealing with this, and tries to leave. And I'm like, Do, you need to at least give me that. That's okay. it. Oh, you're threatening me. You're trying to keep me here. I was like, because I want to really so answer. Was this, was this today that this the, argument yeah. happened? Okay. Just now. You have two girls and a boy, right? I really. I just need to get their names, date of birth. Why do you need that? I, they're not I involved in this case. I need it because they're in the household. Is CPS okay? being called? Anybody who's Is in the CPS household. Anybody who's in the can household. You, uh, sir, I heard you. Okay. I heard you. I asked you a question, though. Okay. I'm not ignoring yours, okay. but I asked you a question. Okay. Are you calling CPS? We're just making a report. It's, so, it's for the police okay, But report. are you reporting this? And yes, ma'am, I am. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. That's all I needed. Okay. Can I Thank get... You. Can Let's start with the boy. They already have all their names. Okay. Well, I need it. 
Jackson. I would like to know, officer, real quick, um, what you are reporting accusational-wise to CPS, please. Uh, reference to a domestic disturbance, ma'am. And so what does that conclude with CPS, I guess? Does that open a whole case? It's just for their information. So it's up to them. It's really okay. up to them. Okay, okay. thank that. No, I appreciate I'm a very literal autistic girl, so please don't say they're going to come off once I give you that info, if they're not. Okay. I'm just waiting for I know, but I'm saying you have to understand paperwork. that's a lie to me. You said as soon as I give you that info, they'd come off. No, I told you once we're done here, they're going to no, come off. No, you said, I asked you once I give you the names, you said they'd come off. Once we're done here, they're going to Then we're done. Off. I've yeah. given you everything. We're not done. My partner still is working on some then stuff. Can... Okay? I don't once need to be. Once we're done. Okay, but I'm saying. Those cuffs are going to come off. That's not how you reported it. But you said when I calm down, you'll take them off. Okay. I've, I've done that. Please let them come off. We're going to No, wait. officer, you, okay. you kind of gave me your word. Can I please have them off? Let's just relax. Okay, We're so can you, can you at least look at me and admit like you lied? Two, like can one you, more minute. Two let's more admit minutes. that you just told me a lie because you did say earlier I when said I calmed once down. We were done, they were gonna come. Actually, you said when I calmed down, they'll come off. Okay. Multiple times. <laughs> I'm just saying, though, but please don't do that to people. I wish you would have done this the first time. Sir, you threatened me in my home. That's how I felt. You may not have perceived it that way, but that exactly how I felt. And it would not have happened that way. So please, maybe next time, just take down the cop back attitude because it would have gone a lot differently. I don't, I would have worked, with, I was not mad at you, but I did not appreciate how I felt approached. Well. So, it can, I'm a very reasonable person. The next time the police respond, especially in reference to a domestic disturbance. This isn't even a domestic okay. disturbance, he's a pansy. Yeah, I'm sorry. So you're getting a ticket for resisting, evading, or obstructing an officer during uh, an investigation, okay? I would like to understand how it was restricted. Yeah, so. Can argue this no, I'm not, I'm not arguing. I just, I, I, right. I'm talking. I'm just saying I'd like to understand. Yeah. I'm autistic, so my brain is just works oh. a little bit differently. Okay. I'm really just trying to understand what I'm asking. Okay. Questions. I just want to see what I think. I don't know how I did wrong or what I did to resist. So I just need to be told. So, so I understand. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. Is the next time the police officers arrive in reference to any kind of investigation, um, especially when trying to make sure the, that everybody's okay and the well-being of everybody involved. Okay, you need to cooperate. That's it. The same way you're doing right now. I did cooperate. Okay. I just was a little hyped. You were I was. I felt threatened. Oh, okay, yeah. can you understand as a mama bear? I felt threatened, I think, and that's really where it was. I have this man who's knocked me up and lied and abused me and my children, and I just want to pay. So you got really close to me, and I could smell the alcohol. So I'm sure the alcohol had something to do with it. Now, in regards to the children, I see that your house is a mess. You know what's funny? Is I literally just have to ask that man if I could pay him to help me because of my lupus and my RA. Okay, because, good. Because, hold on, I, think if I know if my house is a mess. Uh -huh. Believe me, I'm really funny. Instead of arresting her, the officers were generous enough to simply issue citations for resisting or obstructing arrest and battery against a household member. Thankfully, the victim got to walk away with his property and relatively unharmed, but the next victim had a much more traumatizing experience after she and her son were almost killed by her boyfriend's mistress. And you were identified as the who was shooting. On November the 4th of 2023, police responded to a call from a frantic woman whose car had been shot at while she and her one-year-old were inside. She advised police that the suspect was driving a silver Acura and that she'd seen that same car hovering around her home over the past week. Almost a week later, on November the 10th, police performed a traffic stop on the same silver Acura for an unrelated offense. Hello. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Great, how are you? Conducting a traffic stop because of the tent, okay? Okay. Have you ever been pulled over for the tent before? Uh, well, I haven't, but she has. This is her vehicle. I've already gotten a ticket. I'm going to Alpha. I'll just run this. Do you have any issues with your license or no. anything like that? No, sir. Okay. Where are you headed to? I uh, take her to work and then go pick my husband up from work. And what's your name, ma'am? Jennifer. Jennifer? Oh, that's weird, huh? Show me out my PE for walk up. Okay, that Zara person is the person that this... You want to get try to get the um, the passenger's ID too. The front and back. Can try. Do you have your ID with you? No, we're just. I was just asking whose car it is. Is that your social? I don't need uh, that. No, no, ever. Do she looks completely different than she does in her. In the picture. Yeah. 
I wonder if she just dyed her hair. Six two zero. Well, there you go. There you go, grab her. He says, grab her. Okay. Hey, Miss Percy, can you jump out for me, please? Do you have anything? Do you have any weapons on you or no. anything like that? No. What am I being arrested for? Can I be read my rights? Yeah, hold well, on. Okay. Just wait two seconds. Who the officers had there was the shooter, 20 year old Zara Percy. But the targets were not random. They were actually the girlfriend and the child of Zara's sugar daddy. Unbeknownst to the officers, what really happened six days prior is that the victim saw Zara's Acura parked outside her boyfriend's home and went to investigate. After waiting outside for a few minutes, she finally saw her boyfriend exit the home with Zara, which at that point she had walked over to confront the two. In response, Zara went into her own car to retrieve a gun, at which point the girlfriend ran back to her car and sped away with her son as Zara fired several shots into the vehicle. Um, basically, there was a complex, and you were identified as a who was shooting. I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't there, so. So, not so, this. <laughs> I mean, it was in South Daytona, so. I don't know the exact details. She's telling me to call her. She's just the registered owner of the vehicle, so. Yeah, she's my daughter, not my mom. I don't know what's going on. If there's one more, he's going on. I love you, your baby loves you, and you will be fine. Okay. 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 Zira, please, when you go in there, don't act a fool. Listen, uh, remember your grandfather was a police officer for 35 years. Authority is your elders. Remember, please, I raised you better. I love you. Officers are not typically this accommodating of adult age suspects, especially one who tried to kill a young mother, but Zara seemed to have caught these officers on a good day, and they waited patiently for several more minutes while her mom gathered her information. Yeah, are they, we're not looking through the car or anything? She, she said she gave the gun back to her sugar daddy. And she just told me that she didn't shoot at the girl, she shot up in the air. She was scared the girl was going to beat the shit out. Read her before that? Nope. I just asked her if we can look for the gun. She said, 
Zara was taken to the Volusia County Jail and booked on one count of shooting into a vehicle, and her bail was set at $50,000. She doesn't even know how lucky she got to get such a nice group of police officers, especially compared to the next suspect, who got herself tackled by multiple officers in less than three minutes. Go ahead, mother arrest me. You are. You are not! On December the 27th of 2022, officers pulled in front of a residence where a man had reported his girlfriend for being violent with him. But the officers couldn't get to the front door before the 911 caller rushed over to them. Here's the video before you even walk in, okay? May I please have my She just hit me. I told you guys last night she hit me and you didn't believe me. Whatever. Here's her putting her hands on me, physically assaulting me. The first thing she said to the police officer that showed up last night was that she would <laughs> kick my ass. She admitted that she swung on me. I walked downstairs, I asked her to turn her music down because I have to go to bed so I can go to work. That's it. You saw her just physically assault me. I don't know how to rewind it. I am so done with this. I've been nothing but cordial and nice. Right there, you just saw her hit me. That's why I'm like, okay, she's physically hitting me on a regular basis. I don't care that I'm twice her size. It's ridiculous, I don't deserve it. I told you guys last night she hit me. I told you tonight she hit me. There's video evidence that she hit me. She's cussing and screaming at me and belittling me. All I asked her to do was turn the music down so I go to sleep. She called me a little and, and talking about my parents, talking about my daughter. I, I, the things she said about my daughter, I don't even want to tell you. Please remove her from my house. I want a restraining order. I want to file assault charges. I want her gone. She's my, my ex-girlfriend currently. I want her out of my house. She physically assaulted me right there. You saw, I saw her I swing saw, on me. I saw your camera shake. Come on, man. She's freaking hitting me. The officers made their way downstairs to confront the female aggressor, later identified as Katrina. But when they asked her about what happened, she had a completely different story to tell. I know where she is. Downstairs. She's downstairs. Help yourself. Go ahead. You got so, what's going on tonight? What's going on last night, tonight? Same thing that's been going on for the last six months since I met him. I have nothing bad to say. I mean, I do, but I don't. Like, I love the guy. But he's just very emotionally... He drinks too much, and then he goes off on me. And this has been going on, so it happened last night, and he called y'all out. And they asked him to leave, and he did, but he came back. I hid under the bed, because he, he has guns, I'm not sure. I mean, I don't think he would do that. Whatever. So I have been packing. I told I told the police last night, like, I don't, I don't want anything, any harm, nothing to him. I just want to leave with all my stuff. Everything I own, my God, there's ashes. Everything I have is here in this house. I just want to take them. So I had a U-Haul runner today, but I had no one that could help me with the heavy stuff. So I texted him this morning and said, I don't have help till tomorrow. I'll have my out of here by the end of the day. What's tomorrow? Wednesday. So you think you're going to be out of here by tomorrow? End of the day tomorrow, yeah. I have help. Okay. If not, I'll do it myself. I've done it before. He just made all that I don't know what he was doing with his phone and stuff. Like, I was sitting down here wrapping stuff and putting it away. And yes, I'm drinking because I cannot believe this is my life right now. So he, he comes down, I can see it on the camera. He comes down and then what happens after that? He was ass fighting me for, I had the tequila bottle over there because he already went through one last night and he's asking for his property. It was a bottle of tequila he's already been drinking. I said, no, I'm not giving that to him. Is that what he was Excuse talking me? about with his, with his property when he came down? Yes, the tequila. And it's hidden right there because I hid it from him last night after the police left when he snuck back in. He literally sat and drank a bottle of Patron. Okay, well, he's allowed to drink. I don't, I understand that, but you're not hearing what I'm saying. I'm hearing you. No, you're not. The whole reason we get into these fights is because of no, the it's drink. over alcohol. Right. So okay, you but already he's got... allowed to drink. Okay, whatever. What do you want? What happened when he came down here? 
I just told you, he's got it on video, look at it. The suspect, frustrated that the officer wasn't agreeing with her position, began getting snappy and refusing to tell the officer what had happened. That, of course, qualifies as obstructing an investigation, and at any moment the suspect is liable to end up in handcuffs. He's got it skewed, apparently, however he wants it. I don't care. I don't care. I okay. just want... Throw I'll put your hands behind your back. Go ahead. You're you are a You no. are not a robot. So, sorry about your luck, sis. Michael, I hope you're happy. All my children, this is you, all you, Michael. I've never been in trouble in my life. Maybe some of the goddamn worst, the worst of mental ill patients and addiction. Like, I don't, this is not who I am. I get involved with the wrong guy, and now I'm the Oh, this is crazy. I'm not resisting. I cannot even believe. Ma'am, you understand? Yes, I get def away from officers. I get defensive because I have been abused my entire life. Ma'am, when an officer gives you a lawful order, put your arms behind your back, and you pull away from us, that is called resisting. Okay. Do you understand that? I understand. Yes. Or no? okay. yes. So there, now we're okay. in the clear, okay? Yes, we are. So you can thank yourself, not us, for resisting mm -hmm. arrest. Okay, I'd like my attorney called, Michael Goldberg, please, he's in Cleveland. Okay, well, the deal will let you do that when you get there. That's nice. Are you guys serious? You're arrest, for what? Domestic violence, domestic violence, arrest. Domestic violence domestic and violence. resisting arrest. I have never done a thing in my life. I tell you, I have do what you guys do, but on a different level, like this is not fair. He has f***ed with me so hard. Have a seat. The cop says that you can see all the bruises on me from me. And I finally try and stand up for myself. Unbelievable. Katrina was transported to the police station to be processed and charged with resisting arrest. She pleaded no contest and was convicted of disorderly conduct, for which she was sentenced to 30 days in jail with 28 days suspended. That encounter escalated pretty quickly, but not as quickly as this next case after the suspect immediately ran from police as soon as they arrived. Miss, stop! Stop right now! On July the 20th of 2021, police rushed over to a neighborhood after receiving urgent calls from multiple residences. When they arrived, they were met with a chaotic scene, a woman wrestling herself on top of a man while simultaneously striking him, grabbing his throat, and ripping up his t-shirt. The worst part was the altercation was taking place in the middle of the street. But when the female suspect saw the officers approaching, she quickly stumbled to her feet and began sprinting away. Miss, stop! I'll take a second car. She's walking away from me now. Stand there. Please don't taser Stand there. Stand there. Stand there. Okay, I won't. Okay, okay. Stand there. Nice. Stop it. 
Put your hands behind your back. I can't. My hair, please stop. Put your please. hands behind I your back. I want to cooperate. Please stop. Do it now. I can't breathe. Put your hands behind your back right now. Please. My hair is in my face. Okay. Please. Put your other hand behind your back. Hey, roll on your stomach. Move her leg over. Please, I can't breathe. Hey, Bye. step back. The suspect, identified as 20-year-old Nicole Camden, had continued to be uncooperative despite the officer's attempts to help her. In fact, she kind of just laid there on the floor and sobbed for several minutes. Are you hurt at all? Miss, is this your house? Can you sit down? Can you sit on your butt? Go look at me, man. Okay, sit up. Catch your breath. Catch your breath. Is there anybody else inside right now? Are you are you hurt at all, miss? What's your house? Stand up, please, miss. Please. Stand up, please. No. No. Yeah, I got it. No. Do not pull away from me. Do you understand? You are under arrest. You are going to comply. You are not going to pull away from me. Stand here. I do not know what's inside of here. Jamal. Just relax. I can't. Cover it, Corey. Just relax. Just stand up, okay? Relax. If you quit resisting, then you can open up. Yeah, you can deal with it. Yeah, you feel on a daily basis, bitch. <laughs> What is your name, miss? I don't have a name. Okay. Well, you do. No, I don't. Stop trying to pull away from me. My okay? hair's in my goddamn mouth, Relax. dude. Go. <laughs> Sit down, please. I love you! I love you! What are we doing here? <laughs> All the officer's attempts to get information out of Nicole were only met with more whimpering, so the officer decided to wrap up the stop and get her transported to the police station for questioning. Or at least he tried to, before Nicole lashed out and began to attack him. Stand up. I know. So I'm gonna turn to face the car. Hold still, please. No, you're not supposed to be doing this. Then stop fighting. You're a man. You cannot yeah. touch me. Touch. Right you now, cannot all we got. touch me. That's all no, we got. you need to get her over here. You cannot touch me. Stop it. Stop. Stop, stop it. You cannot touch me. Jenna. Don't you kick me. Or you're gonna go to the ground again. Get over here. If you kick me, you're gonna go face down into the ground. She's being a. Okay. I can't search her because she's squirming on me. Yeah, you can't search me. You're right. You're not a female. It doesn't matter. He just added another charge by kicking me, by the way. Well, it's a felony. Shut up. 
Well, you did this to yourself, dear. No, I didn't. Yeah, I told you to stop. How many times? Do not call the f***ing cops. It doesn't matter who called. It doesn't matter who called. It does. No, it does not. It does. I did not do this. You can't say I did it when I did not do it, dog. Stop. Not in here. I know that. This is hot after chasing after you, too. Okay, scoot your feet in. Or is she gonna shut the door? Get some, get some hair on you, okay? Can you get my hair out of my face? Oh, no, the EMS can come up on scene. Just scoot in, please, and I'll get the hair on you. Okay, what did you see here? So, I was sitting in front of my window and the camera stop sign. Stop sign. Basically, she was all over him. He didn't really do anything. Okay. But she kept grabbing him, ripped his shirt open. Kept jumping on top of him, trying to get him to the ground. They finally did get to the ground, <clears throat> but then came back up and wouldn't let him leave or anything else. Where did this take place? Right over here. I don't know whose squad that is. All right, so what's your name? Oh, stay in here. What's your name? So what is going on? We're just having a fight, and I wanted some space. Okay, having a fight with this girl? Who is this? That's, that's my girlfriend. That's what? That's my girlfriend. What was going on? I tried to The fight started in the house. Okay. I wanted to leave. She sat in front of the door. I, I said I would just go out the window. So we were bring her on the road between the door and the window. Came out to the garage. Eventually. How'd you get out the door or the window? Yeah. What was all this about? Relationships. Okay. Something as simple as she thinks I'd rather play games and spend time with her. A dilemma as old as time, but on the bright side, he can now look forward to some alone time with his Xbox, seeing as Nicole would be spending the next couple hours at the local jail. And that's exactly where she was taken and booked on charges of felony battery to a police officer and misdemeanor disorderly conduct resisting arrest and possession of drug paraphernalia. Regardless, it seems like Nicole and Ben will be on and off for quite a while, but the next suspect just couldn't accept that she and her boyfriend were done and outright refused to leave him alone. Samantha, you're currently trespassing. Do you have ID on you? On September the 24th of 2023, a young man called the police to report his ex-girlfriend who was pounding on his parents' front door and refusing to stop or leave the property. And she was still doing exactly that when an officer arrived on the scene. Hello? Reason why you keep knocking on that door? Okay, well I need you to come over here and wait for the door. Do what? No? Ma'am, step away from the door. Alright, go inside. I don't want her here. She's been asked to leave many, many times. She doesn't want to leave. I don't want her hurt. I don't want her arrested. I just want her out of here, please. And I want it noted. I want a report. You can see she's been doing this forever. I've been waiting for my glass to come in and break. She dated my son. They're not together anymore. Mm -hmm. And I don't want her on my premises. This is my home. Okay. And I don't this want her here. here. And this is my son. And I don't want him coming out of here because I don't feel safe with her. With him. Okay. Ma'am, what is your name? Ma'am, what is your name? I don't want her in trouble. I just want her to understand she's not welcome okay. here. What's her first name? She doesn't Samantha. want to answer me. Sandra? Samantha? Samantha, are you are you hearing what she's saying? Hello? Samantha, do you have your driver's license, your ID with you? Okay, this is gonna last for a couple more minutes till my other, other deputy gets here and then she's gonna have two routes. Samantha, One, she's gonna answer me or she's routes. gonna go to jail. Okay, oh no, she's gonna go to jail. Okay, so please, that's not what we want. Just give me your driver's license. Hey, I don't have it with me! You still need to leave. Well, then that. you need to talk to me. I can understand how relationships and stuff like that can be very, very volatile. But this is not the way to act like it, because I'm assuming you're an adult. All right? 
Amanda, what is your last name? Samantha, if you keep Samantha. obstructing him, he is going to put you in cuffs. Just give him the information. This is mom. And this is ex boyfriend. And this is. You need to go inside. Yeah, it's Samantha, correct? Samantha. Yeah, this is Samantha who's not one to answer any questions or have anything to do with police and refusing to leave. Samantha, you're currently trespassing. Do you have ID on you? You don't? No, or do you, are you not going to provide it? I don't have it. Okay, I'm asking. Do you are you your going to leave? In your car? In your car? Can you run that you tag right there in the car? I'm sure I'm about to show your registration. Are you are you going to leave right now off this property? Is this her car right here? Yes. Okay. Is that a yes or no? Sam, I'm not going to ask you again. Sam, they're not playing with you. We just want you to leave our home. We don't wish you any ill will. You're just not welcome here anymore. You need to leave. Why would you want to go and obstruct justice and get yourself into trouble when you're being given the chance by three officers to leave here who are being very respectful and calm with you and giving you the chance to go to your home and deal with whatever it is that you need to deal with today? And do not come back. Is that bad deal? Yes or no? Okay. So you heard her, she wants you to trespass from this point. It's on camera. If you are come back on this property and we catch you here, you go to jail. You understand? All right. Thank you. I don't know. Props to the victim's mother for being extremely insightful and empathetic throughout the situation. Samantha actually did leave the residence, but what she did next caught the officers completely off guard. I just, I just know she's running dumb, and I just don't, I would hate to see her mess up her future. Oh, I know, trust me. Little, I... But she's also a little dangerous, and that worries me. All right, like I said, if she comes back on your property, you call us. Well, she's going to give us another reason to take her. Show Samantha 27 on this property. You're welcome. She just blew through that stop sign. Go get her. She's going to kill somebody. Yep. <laughs> And you didn't want to stop all the way from because Lake Mayo Shores and 27. We are two miles away I from that. This entrance, that's why I stopped here, right here by nope, the entrance. You could have pulled in the gas station, the city hall, any street turn lane. But I didn't understand why you guys were coming after me. Okay, that's not how that works. Can you guys please? No, you're in a rest, your car's getting towed. But what did I do? Can I, can I have my phone? Okay, it will go with you, all right? Can you guys please not do this? Would you this? mind searching her for me? Can you guys please awesome. not do this? What did I no, do? No, it's over. And you're getting resisting arrest, too. No, what are you... Yes. Sir. Sit down. Do? Sit down. Can you guys please... Sit down and sit back. Sir. Sit back. Sir. Sit back. I, I can't. Because of the thing. Why are you holding me like that? Holy... 
You guys gave me nowhere to freaking stop. That's not cool either. I'm not from here. I don't just stop in the middle of the road. Following her arrest, officers went to document the items inside Samantha's car so that it could be towed. And during that time, they found marijuana and drug paraphernalia inside the vehicle. Samantha was subsequently taken to the police station and charged with fleeing and eluding, resisting arrest without violence, possession of marijuana less than 20 grams, and possession of drug paraphernalia. If you enjoyed this video, watch this one, and don't forget to subscribe.